Uh, hey, we're Indian Summer. I'm Chevy. I'm Gabe. And you're watching the AU Review. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us and welcome back to Sydney. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thanks playing, for having at, us. Uh, playing at the laundry tomorrow night. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're really looking forward to it. So it's kind of part of a pretty uh, pretty substantial run around the country that kicked off at, with Splendour a couple of weeks ago. I guess talk us through your uh, Splendour experience for uh, 2014. Um, well, I guess it where started off at the... Yeah, where do we begin? <laughs> it started off at the Red Bull party on Thursday night, which was... Um, Really, really good. It was, was just like, surprise. yeah, I think there yeah. was like 1,500 or so people just crammed into this small tent and we were kind of, it was like us and a few of our buddies, like uh, Word Life, LDIU, um, Yatsu, and like... Drank enough Red Bulls to have like a... Yeah, a mini, mini heart attack. <laughs> um, and burnt, yeah, kind of burnt ourselves out on the first night. Um, but We bounced back pretty well though. Yeah, totally. Last year we did. Yeah. The same and much worse case yeah yeah um so either you're growing more resilient or you just didn't drink as much right? yeah totally i you think we're just getting older as much mud too yeah 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 no rain this year no floods Eight so hours. that was really nice yeah yeah that does help yeah it's exhausting <laughs> yeah absolutely um so yeah that was night one and then uh we did the mix-up stage on night two um which was like so so cool for us to do because i suppose we've um sort of honed our craft for a couple of years being club DJs and mm. to kind of step into the um, realm of doing festivals like that is a kind of different experience for us and it was really nice to walk away feeling like it had worked and feeling like the kids mm. had connected with the music it was um, really cool too having the Red Bull stage as a warm up and then kind of going like we kind of accidentally nailed the timing with Red Bull like we usually will have like a plan of what we want to play yeah. and miss it but we got it spot on on Red Bull. Yeah. So then when we came to like the 45 minute set on the mix up uh, stage, mix up stage, we yeah. just cut out a bit of a few tracks and then, yeah, yeah we had it. We, we, <laughs> we got it down pat. Like we were watching so many of our friends and like the, um, <laughs> it's so hard to judge when they say five minutes, like you're you, just yeah. up there and you're in the moment. So like five minute feels it's so like, easy to just get cut and we, yeah. we somehow did it we, yeah. we winged it but. a lot of DJs just get wheeled off like in the middle <laughs> of their last song <laughs> and I suppose that's 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 fine that would have been they have the time yeah it's, it's but like I feel like it's a bit different nowadays that DJs are making more song based tracks and are more um, doing sh putting on shows that are kind of more um, more closely resemble like a live show yeah it's more mm -hmm. so yeah, like yeah, yeah to get wheeled off during your last song which is usually for a D an Australian DJ's like your single the song that you've been pushing to get wheeled off halfway through that it's like oh it's, it's kind of frustrating but, but we avoided, we it, avoided so. it yeah <laughs> we timed it out so it works well so I mean it, what are the components of your live show now have you sort of how's that grown over the last few years do you think um, I, I don't know I think stylistically it's still as all over the place as it's ever been definitely yeah still figuring it out but there's like that that underlying like need to kind of just get out there and uh, uh, back it up with a bit of yeah. know, energy. Like we, we watch the major laser shows and all that sort of stuff. We rip the suits off them. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's just because we're big fanboys, but it's just like you, they, all those sort of acts that kind of DJ, but you don't look at, you don't, if you're going to like a major laser show or, one of those big time DJs and you're going to a live show essentially and then mm. like there's, there's bring, that bring your whistle yeah <laughs> you know you don't go there and they're not just staring at the deck so you can play there's yeah. a bit of engagement and mm. yeah yeah we'll we'll figure it out yeah totally. <laughs> um, yeah we love crowd engagement and we love interaction with, with people so we got to crowd surf for the first time so it was cool <laughs> yeah that was yeah, pretty cool it was, fun. That was, it was awesome and we didn't tear our pants no <laughs> no I'm waiting to I did get stuck behind the barrier trying to get back over and this Big bounce, I had to like come and over and lift me like but my shirt's dead. I tried to wash it last night. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, every time we Happy play, Sam doesn't work pretty much after pre pretty much after every single show, we have to like, what were you saying? You have to just chuck your um, in a biohazard bin and yeah. just it's done. <laughs> they, just, yeah. they don't survive. Yeah. I thought they would. Nah. So you're gonna be going through a lot of shirts over the next couple of weeks then? Yeah. Mm. I'm okay <laughs> with that as long as the suit jackets. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Well, tell us a little bit about what you've got in store over the next few weeks. You're uh, running around for uh, to to you know celebrate your your EP or double A side B side. I'm yeah, not sure exactly how to, how to quite brand. <laughs> Take it. your pick. Yeah, <laughs> totally. I guess that's kind of 
uh, our model over the past uh, year or so that we've been with Sweated Out has just been to put out a whole bunch of singles. Mm. Um, so we've got some new stuff. We've got actually quite a bit of new stuff that we're really excited about in the pipeline. Uh, Are you teasing that in the live in the live shows? Uh, not 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 just, not just yet. You should to yeah. be excited. Yeah. The next one. Yeah. 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 Totally. Um, yeah, and we we've yet to play to any of our shows, but um, yeah, so that's that stuff's all lined up. We're kind of looking at getting out to the US um, later in the year. Let's do CMJ and that sort of thing. Or uh, your own, own shows. Well, we you actually should out. Yeah, we actually have yeah. to figure it we out. We keep talking okay. about it, and then people yeah. ask like further questions. We're gonna, hey, yeah, I don't know. but yeah, sure. <laughs> well, it's it's CMJ. a work. <laughs> yeah, it's a work in progress. Um, I guess. Yeah. yeah. The yeah tickets are booked. So. But yeah, first first and foremost, we're just going around all around Australia and New Zealand to promote China over the next uh, couple of weeks, which um gonna yeah, hang out some buddies. thrilled about. Yeah, get to reconnect with a lot of old friends that we've made. Yeah, and like the, the Splendor Crew tonight is coming together. We 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 came here for press today. Like we don't have a show tonight, so we've got like yeah. the night off, and there's just so much we got. So much to do. Golden features, Violent Soho, and Safia playing and then some one place and then our mate john from rufus is djing in another place at meanwhile and then i want to see jimmy edgar Jimmy as well in bondi he's playing at a metallic party so there's a lot there's a lot on to get the uber app out because you'll be uh, you'll be running around (laughs) yeah yeah Yeah, totally (laughs) we love uber yeah it's great (laughs)